This week on Life on Jupiter, after our initial miscalculations, we travel across the Chesapeake to find a boatyard that has facilities big enough to lift Jupiter out of the water. had passed since we realized that we were too big to be hauled out at Deltaville. We spent that time with friends and waiting for our parcels to arrive. But now we are on our way across the other side of the Chesapeake to Cape Charles Yachting Center and our fingers were crossed that the travel lift would be large enough to accommodate Jupiter. The harbour was too small for anchoring, so we stayed outside, but I did sneak in for a peek at the travel lift, and geez, it did not look much bigger. center. We just went in motor to past it because it's a harbour. I'm not allowed to anchor in that harbour but uh, just motored past the travel lift and it looks small again. So gonna go measure. Fingers crossed that we can come out tomorrow. Yeah. But it looks so narrow. It looks really small but they said 25 foot yeah. is okay and we think we're 24 and 10 inches, so <sighs> let's go measure it. good yeah it looks good yes 20 20 <laughs> 25 7 
So we're going to have a foot, half a foot each side. It's cool? Cool. Are you sure you're on the zero? Yeah. Okay. What a beautiful day here at Cape Charles. Obviously a bit moist up there in the upper troposphere. All the vapour trails, it's like sky riding at the moment, it's amazing. So we're here to haul out and in a couple of hours that's what we're going to be doing. A little bit of a challenge I think, um, about a 10 knot crosswind and the slip is very skinny. Seriously that much on each side of our beam. Um, and we have to reverse in uh, so that the forestay doesn't hit the, uh, the front beam on the travel lift. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully it all goes smoothly. And we expect to be out for one week at the most, um, which is good. There's a bit of a low pressure system coming as well. It's almost a named storm. I think yesterday they were talking about naming it so that's a nice time to be on the hard, I guess. And when it, once it's gone, we'll be back in the water and on our way to New York. Well, we should get the boat ready. Hailing the white sailboat in the vicinity of the Coast Guard Pier. This is Coast Guard Small Room, Port Channel 16, over. Is that you? Oh man, I hate this hauling out thing. I mean, even the, the whole marina thing. It's just getting too close to hard things and too, hard, too close to expensive things. <laughs> so, need a little luck. Yeah, but finally we got a boat yard that we can fit. Yeah, at least we could fit here. Yeah. Let's just see if we can do it without mishap. Hopefully. Let's see if they're answering. Cape Charles Yacht Center, Cape Charles Yacht Center. This is Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2. Vessel hailing Coast Guard. Jupiter 2, can I get you on 06, please? 06. 06. Cape Charles, this is Jupiter 2, uh, just making sure we're still good for one o'clock uh, lift. Uh, we're on the anchor outside here, so uh, just let us know. Yes sir, I need to double check with the service sign on that. Uh, I know they had mentioned a one o'clock lift, it may have been bumped at two. Uh, let me give them a call really quick and I'll get back in touch with you. Okay, we'll stand by on 06. Yes sir, thank you. Mm -hmm. See what happens. 30 minutes left. I mean, that's the for thing, you know, the later in the day, the windier it gets. Yeah. yeah. Like it was really blowy yesterday afternoon. But maybe the staff is not available, so mm -hmm. nobody will help us.
just another one of the many advantages of the catamaran. With two engines, two propellers, differential power, you can literally turn on a dime. But in close quarters, with boats all around, you still have to watch that wind. As it turned out, us preparing fenders was a waste of time. There was no room for fenders. This was certainly a tight fit. Shells. Yeah, wow. Well. That's why we don't drive very well. Not too bad. I mean, this is only one and a half years, uh, so it is bad in that case. But yeah, that paint, whatever they put it on, I don't know what it was. I don't think it's what I asked for. So now they're going to pressure wash it. Mm -hmm. Always around the poo hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. It's like, it's like pubic hairs. <laughs> dreaded, dreaded pubic hairs. Dreadlocks. It's cool colour. Mm. Oh my god. Ah, it's a relief to have half. Half done, we're out. <laughs> Still got to go back in, but Jesus, it was close. It was that close. Like I was pushing off because we were going to rub. But 
I'm not sure if we scratched, but if we did, it's only a little bit. Yeah. You did it pretty good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they did pretty good. <laughs> Just lucky the very light wind as well, you know. In fact, I, I thought, because I have sort of positioned upwind a little bit, because I knew the wind had blow me down, but it didn't. <laughs> it's yeah. sort of all sheltered here. Yeah. A bit of a fiddle to get straight. Well, a bit of a bum wash right now, and then take her into the yard. Hopefully a polish will make it pretty. Yeah, and soon it will become grey. Grey antifail camera. <laughs> oh, what was that? I need to give that a good key up, just peeling off. That's the antifail. Oh my god. That's not aluminium. That's it, yeah. So that's the paint. That's the barrier coat they put on. So? So it doesn't stick to the paint underneath it. Bye, Jukes. I've never been the one to sit back and let the professionals do the job. I've always been that annoying client that sticks his nose in to make sure things are done right. And in this case, that was lucky. With only one staff driving this vehicle, he missed that the cabinet door was jammed open against Jupiter's hull. What a relief to be out of that lift and sitting on solid ground. And what a relief for that noise to be gone and we can watch the silent sunset. It was time for a beer. And to contemplate the weeks long list of jobs that we had coming up. Thank you.